Hey guys, my name is Rachel Mooney with the Mooney Group at Keller Williams, and let's talk about what's been going on in our real estate market here in Forsyth County over the last 30 days. Well, we have got 778 homes on the market. That number is pretty flat over the last 30 days. We put 140 homes under contract. Guys, that number is way down compared to what it was last month, but we closed 186 homes, which that number did go up. And as a matter of fact, if you're in the industry, you may have felt a little bit of a burst when those interest rates dropped about 30 days ago or so. We got a pretty good boost of buyers that were making their way back into the marketplace. So of the 186 homes that did close though over the last 30 days, our sellers got 98% of their asking price. Our average sales price is $713,000 this month. Um, and our average days on market were 48. So Mary Beth, what about Gwinnett County? We listed 749 homes. We put 134 under contract and we sold 539 homes. Our average list price was right at 492,000 and our average sales price was right at 484,000. And that means our sellers got about 98% of their asking price and it only took 35 days on market to accomplish that, which is phenomenal. We have a little over 2,000 homes and single family homes available in Gwinnett County right now, which puts our supply right under a four month supply which guys, that's really kind of the new balanced market. We used to say it's really five to six months for a balance, but I think due to these you know, market changes that we're experiencing, we're calling four month supply the, the new balanced market. Now, here's what we expect to happen. We expect the um, interest rates to drop a little bit more between now and spring, and we expect to have traditional seasonality, meaning a lot of buyers and sellers are looking at listing their homes and selling their homes. February, March to start all the way through, you know, middle of the summer. We usually see it kind of taper off around July 4th. Um, if you're a buyer and you're not sure if this is the right market for you to purchase, you're thinking maybe I'll let the interest rate drop a little bit. And maybe that's when I'm going to purchase a home. Let me tell you, these same deals that we're seeing today are not going to be around in the spring. Just in the last week, I was able to negotiate about $15,000 in closing costs for a buyer. And I can tell you when that interest rate dips in the spring and we have that traditional seasonality, you're gonna see buyers competing against each other. So you're not gonna have that opportunity any longer. Okay, so I'm probably gonna step on some toes here, but let's talk about the marketplace and what's actually happening right now. So we have a significant difference between a person that actually wants to sell their home, that would be a seller, versus someone who actually just wants to try to sell their home. And that's what we're gonna call for this scenario, a trier. So there's a difference between a seller and a trier in this marketplace. And that is such a big difference that as a matter of fact, out of the 100 homes that went on the market last month, um, out, out of every 100 homes, 69 of those were priced inaccurately. That means there were 69 homes that were out there out of 100 that it was just a trier on the market. That meant that they uh, looked at a wrong data. Maybe their neighbor sold a couple months ago. Maybe they had their house appraised a, a certain amount a few months ago, and they thought that that was the true value of the property. And so they put it on the market, they tried to get this specific number, and then their home ended up coming off of the market, either withdrawing or expiring off, or they had to reduce their price because the marketplace said, mm -mm, your home is not worth that much money. And so we try to go out and to educate sellers that, hey, don't be a trier, because if you are a trier, statistics are showing that you're actually leaving about six to 7% on the table because you are having to reduce and chase that market down. So what does all that mean? Right now, it is so critical that you have your home priced accurately and it is in show shape condition. Now the market is gonna tell you right away, please do not go look at Zillow, please do not go look at realtor.com, please do not call an appraiser and say, I just wanna know what my house is worth. The appraiser is not going to appraise it the way it should be to having it put on the market so that a buyer can find value in that property. And what we're seeing right now is we've got about a six month supply of inventory in the Forsyth County market. That means the buyers now have the upper hand versus 30 days ago, we were swinging into that direction and now we are here in that buyer's market. So it is very critical that you find a realtor that understands your marketplace and can coach you and counsel you if right now is the right time to sell your property. 
for the homes that are selling, the homes that are priced right, we are getting them under contract and we're getting them under contract quickly. As a matter of fact, for homes that's priced accurately, the average days on market is 15 days versus a home that's priced inaccurately, the average days on market is 71 days. That is a long time to keep your house in picture, show shape, condition, and hoping that that right buyer comes through the door. So I hope you find that this information is helpful. Again, this is for this market right now. Again, the numbers will change in the next 30 days. If you are a client of ours, we are watching this marketplace every single week because it is changing every single week. And our clients need to know exactly what's happening because they are trying to make moves based off of this specific market. If you think that you want to be one of those clients or you're interested or possibly thinking about selling in the future, reach out to me, reach out to my team. We are full-time professionals here to help you. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next 30 days.